Hi guys, welcome to this weekend reading vlog. So, I'm settled, I'm in college, welcome. And I wanted to sort of take you through my weekend. We're gonna read some books, it's gonna be fun. I am super excited. Sorry if the camera's shaking, I have to work on that. It's on my bed right now, I promise I'm gonna find a better way to film, but I didn't feel like sitting on the ground in front of my bookshelf. I wanted to be in front of my pretty new tapestry, so I'm really excited for the books I have planned this week. Um, lots of cool stuff. Some books are for homework, some books are for fun, so let's just get into what I'm planning on reading this weekend. We'll do the school books first to get those out of the way. So this weekend I am reading two books out of this massive collection of books called The Nine Plays of Modern Theater and the two plays I am reading are The Balcony by Genet and Rosencrantz and Guildenstern Are Dead by Tom Stoppard. Modern drama plays mean they've been written the last like century about. I'm super excited. I've read, haven't read anything by Janae, but I read Arcadia by Tom Stoppard. It was very interesting. It definitely plays with like time and language. So I'm really excited to read that. Um, in that class, we've been talking a lot about the structure of language and what is language's actual meaning. So that's been a really interesting discussion point to talk about. So I'm really excited to see how that discussion enhances with these plays. So let's get on to the fun books I'm reading. This weekend, I'm planning are reading two books hopefully the first one is an enchantment of ravens by Marga margaret rogerson this um, is the same author who wrote a sorcery of thorns i really this is her first book i believe it's also a standalone about a fey prince and i'm super excited to read it i've heard some mixed reviews actually i know people who dnf'd it but it's very much all the things i love it's fey princes it's art it's magic it's romance so i'm excited to see about that and the next book I am listening to this month is Fury Born by Claire Legrand. I'm listening to that on Libby. For those of you who don't know, it's like a free platform for audiobooks. It connects you with your local library. So even though I'm in North Carolina, I'm connected to my library back in Maryland. So that's a really nice, free, easy way to get audiobooks. I'm about 12% through it right now, so I definitely have a lot to go. I mean, like, yeah, I'm like two hours into it, and it's like 16 hours total, so gonna be a while. My plan for the rest of the day is later after I do some studying I'm going to go to Target and Barnes & Noble. Target because that's really where I do most of my shopping. When I'm here I like go get my food, anything else I need. I need like some snacks. I need dish soap to wash my dishes because they're all just piling up on my sink. I need garbage bags. This isn't interesting. You'll see later what I get. And then I ordered Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff and instead of having it shipped directly to me which had like shipping costs I instead shipped it to my local Barnes & Noble which means the shipping is free. I recommend you do that if you have that option. So I'm going to go pick it up today after I go to Target with my friend Julia. We'll probably go get some dinner after that and then I'm not sure what I'm doing tonight but you will see. Yeah so that's pretty much the plan for right now. Tomorrow homework, reading, I'm going to the football game tomorrow night, which is exciting. It's the first home game. I'm not a big sports person, but I went to high school where we didn't have like any football team. So it's really fun to like have someone to root for. So yeah, that is the plan. I've totally forgot. It is Friday and it is 2.30 right now. So we're just gonna get started on that. Oh, I gotta do laundry. You see, this is good. This is helping me remember stuff. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys right now. I will talk to you soon. Hi guys, happy Saturday. It is early. It's about 11 right now, which doesn't seem early, but to me it is because I don't get to sleep in a lot. So waking up early was like, mm, it's fine. So I took a shower already. I'm going to make breakfast in a second, but I wanted to update you on my reading so far. So first of all, yesterday I finally got my copy of Dark Dawn from Barnes & Noble. Super excited. It's a signed first edition, which I'm pretty sure all of them are because it's only came out a few days ago, but it has a, his autograph, and instead of just two maps, we have one, two, three maps. So exciting. As for reading progress, I'm about still pretty early on in Furyborn by Claire Legrand. We keep switching back and forth between Eliana and Riel's perspectives, these two queens that the story is based on. One of them takes place in the past and one of them takes place in the more present. Haven't really figured out how they're connected yet to Eliana, who's the more present main character. 
she believes that Riel, the past queen, is just like a myth or a legend. And when we go back to Riel, not much is happening really. We get to know a little bit more about her situation. She's this powerful enchanter in a way. Uh, we know that her powers are out of control and she has a hard time controlling them. So, and we know that Riel is a sort of a bounty hunter and kills people who oppose the empire to keep her family afloat. So that's all that we really know so far about the two main characters switching between. I'm listening to it on audio. I sort of expected for there to be two narrators, but there's only one, but I think she does a good job of like keeping it separate. So that's all good. I also read four chapters of An Enchantment of Ravens. I love it so far. I think it's a little curried is something that I've noticed. I love the whole concept that Fae are obsessed with mortal craft. They can't like do anything for themselves. So they go to these like human villages to get their art, to get their food, to get all these different kinds of things. The premise of the book is that she paints this fae prince and like she sort of like falls in love with him but like we don't really see that. We get like a chapter of that happening. We don't know anything about his feelings. Like the beginning of the chapter she starts painting him and by the end of the chapter like months have passed and she's like has feelings for him. So it felt a little rushed. I wish we got to see a little more of her falling in love with him. The chapter ended on a bit of a cliffhanger so I can't wait to keep reading it today. Speaking of today, I'm in my game day material because I'm going to a football game later. But first I'm going to read and do some of my homework for classes. So reading those two plays I'm gonna read. Probably gonna edit a bit, make myself some breakfast right now because I'm hungry. And that's really the immediate plan. I will update you more as we go. So let's just get right to it. So I just got a notification that I have a package at the mail center, so we're going to go pick that up and you're coming with me. Okay, now I'm just literally back where I started, but with a package. Um, it's from my mother. We love that. Let's see. Oh, it's, oh, my paycheck. Amazing. Oh, my last paycheck. And then also she got me <laughs> a little pineapple beauty blender. Thanks, mom. <laughs> She's a nut, but I love her. Okay, it's like 12 right now. So I'm probably going to get some more reading done. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys now. I think I listened to a bit of Fury Born while I was eating breakfast and then I read some of my plays for English. But now I think I'm going to read a few chapters of Enchantment of Ravens because as I said before, it sort of ended on a cliffhanger and I need to know what happened right now. <laughs> so we're going to do that. So we're just going to move mosey on into the living room and do that now. I just read about five chapters of An Enchantment of Ravens. I really like the plot. I think it's so inventive and creative and I love everything. It's just so rushed and short. And I wish that Rogerson had took her time to sort of build things up and develop them more before just like pushing them into these situations. All of a the sudden these characters are acting without an inherent motivation because we don't know them that well. So one second the prince is super mad and the second next second he's like totally okay. And yes, you could blame that on the fact that he is Faye, but I wish we had seen more of the process of him changing his mind and his feelings. <sighs> I think it is very good and I just wish it had been drawn out and maybe that's why Sorcery of Thorns is so long and developed and amazing. Maybe she took 
that criticism from this book and applied it to Source 3 of Thorns. I don't know. I'm going to stick with it, with it because as I said, I do like the characters and the mystery and all of that stuff. I just know that I'm going to finish it pretty quickly because that's how I read. I read fast and I'm not sure how much I'm going to retain because everything is just going so quickly. I am like in shadow here. Let's try here. Here we go. Okay. Uh, but yeah, those are sort of my thoughts right now on the book, my small criticisms, things like that. I'm gonna go finish editing uh, an Instagram picture and then I think I'm gonna straighten my hair and get ready for the game. So I'll take you along with me on that. Let's go. Been a while since I updated you it's still Saturday but after the game I was just so mentally physically emotionally exhausted all my extrovertedness left me because I am an introvert so I definitely needed some recharge time I was sort of productive I mean I rewatched a lot of episodes of once upon a time which is my favorite show ever uh, but I did finish one of my plays for class the play I finished was The Balcony by Jean Genet, I believe, by Jean Genet, and basically tells about these people who work in this brothel during a rebellious time. The brothel is like a place where men can like play out different fantasies, things like that, um, all while the world is sort of crumbling apart outside of its walls. It's supposed to sort of demonstrate that fine line between reality and fantasy, which I thought was a really interesting concept, as well as the fact this play really shows the breakdowns in society and how each social class is viewed. So it's like a silly premise, like these different men coming into this brothel to live out their fantasies and then realizing that uh, when they return to their real lives, those fantasies aren't always as cracked up as they seem to be. I think that was a good summary. I think I'll do well on that quiz. But yeah, so I just ate some dinner. I just got like a to-go box and ate some salad and the grilled cheese. And then ugh, I really want to work on my bullet journal a little bit, fill in some things there. Not my reading journal, my bullet journal. And then I think I'm going to read some more of Enchantment of Ravens. My goal for the weekend with the stuff I'm reading for fun is to, I think, finish an Enchantment of Ravens and then get like halfway through Furyborn because I know realistically there's no way I'm going to listen to 16 hours of that this weekend. So my goal is to just make some headway, maybe get to like 40 to 50 percent of it done. So we will see how those plans change and develop as it goes. I also just really want to watch some more Once Upon a Time because I'm a creature of habit. So yeah, that's what we are going to do now. That's the plan. Let's go. Hi friends, as you can probably tell from my wardrobe change and the fact that it's dark, it's nighttime. Just about. If you want to get technical, it's like 9.45. It has been a long day. For me, I don't know about you, maybe your day's been going pretty quickly, maybe it's long like mine, it doesn't matter, but my day's been really long. So I'm really excited to just like sit down, light a candle, read this, and just have like a nice long sleep so i'm gonna do that tomorrow the plan is to go to the library and get all my reading done everything else i need to get done my psych homework my english homework all of that done that's pretty much the plan i have like um based on like how my schedule is set i basically have like a four-day weekend because i only have one class on fridays and mondays but we're gonna end it on sunday because i like the nice weekend reading vlogging friday through sunday so i'm really excited for tomorrow excited to see to show you guys more around campus and also i have to film my aurora rising book talk tomorrow don't let me forget 
I obviously hopefully by the time this is up that'll already be up but I'm tired I'm rambling it is what it is so yeah so I'm filming my Aurora Rising book talk tomorrow I'm really excited to film it in front of here because I think it'll give it a nice like atmosphere I have like a bunch of notes for that I'm so excited I loved the book and I can't wait to discuss it with you guys and yeah that's really all I have I am really out of it I'm sorry this like heat from the game took so much energy out of me so it is what it is but that is the plan for tomorrow. That is the plan for tonight. Just, you know, reading my precious and yeah, just chilling. So that is what we're going to do. I will see you guys tomorrow to update you on everything then. Bye. Hi friends. I am really trying hard to finish this bagel before I start filming my Aurora Rising book talk, which I'm doing today before I go to the library and start working on homework and stuff for the rest of the day. According to Goodreads, I'm about 52% done with An Enchantment of Ravens. Exciting stuff. Same criticisms. It's going very fast, but the story's taking a very interesting direction, and I think that is good in keeping my interest with the story. Definitely a quick read. I'm about, as I said before, I'm about to start filming my Aurora Rising book talk. I have a lot of notes. I'm really excited. It Oh, I'm really excited for it. I am loved this book and I can't wait to discuss it. So I'm going to go do that now and then we're going to go to the library and study some stuff and it's going to be great. So let's just get right to it. Finished An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson and I have questions. A lot of stuff at the end just did not make sense to me. A lot of things happened without any explanation or any sense to them at all. If you don't want to get spoiled then skip ahead till the star goes away. So at the very end of the book when she throws the raven pin into the well, the green well to make it collapse in on itself, I don't understand how that happened. Thinking about it in my head, my only explanation is that since it's a piece of craft and Fae are made in the Greenwell and the craft rejects Fae, my only like explanation is that the, the craft being in the well is what destroyed it. But that's not explained. That came through my own inference and knowledge of the plot. But other than that, there's no explanation given as to why that happens. Also, um, I just finished the book. So like I simply do not remember them explaining how... Rook and Isabel are going to live together. Rook, of course, being a fey prince and Isabel being immortal. And despite the fact that she killed the Alder King in the end and she's now the queen of the fey, does that make her immortal? Did they say that? I don't think so. We shaken again. Okay. Off the top of my head right now, just finishing it, I want to lean towards three, three to 3.5 stars. I give it a day as I usually do. Digest it think about it a bit more and then make my official decision tomorrow but alas it is Sunday night which means I am ending this weekend vlog. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I had a blast this weekend with you. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, let me know if you like these weekend vlogs or if you would rather like a full week vlog. Let me know and that's really all I have for you guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!